Don't you dare hang up that phone, okay? Why shouldn't I? Why should? What if I wanted the Vegas package? What you? You know what? I want the Vegas package. Sure you do. What? You mother! Please don't call. <laughs> this is all about Susie Diaz. It's Susie Diaz's party. Susie Diaz is running the show. I'm just gonna show up. If she needs me to bring beer or something, I'm more than happy to. Oh, dude. Oh my God, a woman just fainted. I'm gonna have to call you back. Ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, um. What is your emergency? Yeah, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm on the corner of, of, of Fifth and Metropolitan, and I uh, just came up uh, across this woman, and she just she just passed out uh, uh, on the sidewalk here. Okay, and is she responsive, sir? Um. Okay, sir, is she responsive? Sir? Sir? Um, no. Sir, if you can hear me. She's not responsive. She's. Beautiful. That is not relevant to this emergency, sir. An ambulance is on its way. In the meantime, I need you to check her pulse, sir. Check her pulse, right, check her pulse. Okay. Does she have a pulse, sir? No, she does, but her skin is so soft. Sir. She doesn't have a ton of makeup, but she's the kind of girl that just doesn't need it. Sir, and you can see that she put a lot of thought into her outfit, but that was just trying too hard. She's perfect. Sir, may I remind you that you have not spoken a word to this woman. I need you to see if she's breathing. Uh, if she breathing, yeah, okay, hold on. Sir, I need you to stay on track. Hold on. Okay, she's not breathing. The look of my life is not breathing. You gotta save my baby! Do you know how to give mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation? Yes, I do. Okay, I need you to administer that now. Okay, okay. I have to be respectful for her. Sir, this is the only time it's OK to put your mouth on an unconscious woman. Do it. I just didn't picture it happening this way. There's butterflies in my stomach, and I'm just, I, <laughs> I don't want to mess this up. It's so rare for to find Sir, them. if you can hear me, oh. an ambulance is oh. on its way. I'm sorry, I'm I sorry. I, 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 uh, oh, gosh, my head. Sir, I'm so like headed. Sir, stay with me. This is what it feels like to be in love. Stay this with me, sir. What it must feel like when you, when you find the one. Sir, I'm there. Nine one one. What is your emergency? There's an attractive, confident, well-to-do black man. He, he just passed out right here on the street. Okay, ma'am. Listen very carefully. I'm going to need you to marry him. Oh, okay. Shouldn't I give him like mouth to mouth first? Yeah, girl, get you some. Shoot. Hello, Sky Mall Magazine. This is Riaz speaking. Hello, Riaz. I would like to report an item which I ordered that arrived broken. Wendell Sanders, Mockingbird Lane. That's right. I am showing the last item that you've received is the Superman bed with the mattress of solitude. That's the one. Ordered it from my son for his birthday, but I cannot give it to him like this, and I'm pretty darn tootin' pissed about it. I'm really sorry, sir. I will start processing your reorder right now with you on the line, okay? I ain't mad at you, Rios. It's just the system, I know. Okay, thank you for understanding, sir. Kids, eh? Huh? Oh. Ki well, yeah, I just got the one myself. Had sex with a woman and everything to get him. How long is this gonna... What is your son's name? Oh. Uh... Stimpy. Pretty much stimpy. I have boys too. 
I tell you, sometimes they can be a real couple of you know what. An ass. So you're preaching to the choir, Ria. Stimpy, don't you give me that look. You're going to get it when your mama comes home. Oh, my. Sounds like your wife is. Bitch on wheels. You got that straight, Ria. Hot little biscuit, though. Name's Claire. Body 10, face 10. So pretty much hit that every night. Sexually. Anyway, what's holding up the- Oh, one more minute. <laughs> and uh, how old is your son? Fifteen. Fifteen? And he still wants a Superman bed? Ah, uh, a late bloomer. <laughs> Enjoy it while you still can. He'll grow out of the toys any day now. They all do. And the second he starts hooking up with the girls, he'll forget all about that Superman and Spider-Man stuff. <laughs> Pretty much seems like how it would happen. Maybe then he'll stop bothering me with all those stupid little facts about how those characters you just named are clearly from two distinct and separate universes. Sadly, some people never move on. Sad? I got a better word for you, pathetic. Well, I, I, I wouldn't say pathetic, I... Hey, I call them locks, I see them, Riaz, and I don't tolerate nerds. In fact, let me nip this in the bud real quick. Stimpy! Stimpy, get back in here! I, will, I, I didn't mean to... There you are, with your round body and your creepy-ass face. No more sweets for you, because you're never going to get laid if you keep eating sweets. And another thing, all these figurines and toys you got around the house, we're throwing them in the trash, because they're not real people, Stimpy. They're not real people. So stop being so lonely. Stop being so lonely. Well, and this is none of my business, of course, but I was wondering if your son would like to talk to someone. Oh, <laughs> Simpy just jumped out the window. Oh, my God. Oh, he killed himself. Why'd he do it? It must have been my fault. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. I'm going to call the cops. Don't you dare cancel that reorder. It's the only thing I'll have to remember him by. Hello, this is Gavin. Hi, Gavin. My name is Colin Valenti. I'm calling from Master Travel Incorporated. I'll tell you about an exciting limited time off an exclusive Las Vegas getaway. I have a few moments of your time to tell you about this new package. You know what? I would love to, but I just don't have the time. Hello? Hello? Colin Valenti, Master Travel Incorporated. I'm in his service. Uh, hi, Colin Valenti. My name is uh, Gavin. I think we just talked. Uh, did, did we get disconnected? Yeah, no. I mean, yeah, I hung up on you. Well, uh, why, why would you do that? I mean, are you even are you even allowed to do that? Well, were you going to buy the Las Vegas package? Well, I mean, probably not, but that's not the point. The point is... This is Colin. Yeah, Valenti, listen, um, I don't know what crawled up your ass and set up shop there, but you don't get to hang up. <gasps> what? Oh my God. What the f do you want? What is your deal, huh? Um, you don't want the biggest package, so I don't want to talk. I did us a favor, wasting our time. Stop, stop, don't you dare hang up that f phone, okay? Why shouldn't I? Why should? What if I wanted the Vegas package? What you? You know what? I want the Vegas package. Sure you do. What? You mother! Oh my God! You son of a bitch! Come on, man. Let it go. You man. You. I want five packages right now. You know what? You know what? My wallet. 
This is my credit card number right here, okay? This My credit card number is 0074-5403-0098. It's 1220, and then, and then, the, uh, yeah, the security number is 084. So run the damn card right now, right now. You run it right now, asshole. Thank you for your business. Well, I hope you learned your lesson. <gasps> These new call scripts are really great. Yeah, I know, right? What do you want, Kathy? Call my agent. Jaden Pickett Smith, my man. What up, Clyde? Hey, look, man, I'm gonna be real with you, okay? This Alien Boy script, I'm not feeling it. I mean, it's hard being Will Smith's son. I just wanna make sure my next project reflects that I'm a down to earth, normal kid. Am I making any sense? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm reading you loud and clear. I've got a script right here, very real, called Streetball. Talk to me. Okay, so you play Tony. He's a kid from the streets, lives in the hood, in a house with his mom. Stop. House? Oh, it's like a tiny mansion. Got it, go on. So his mom and he, uh, they live in this house, and she works at a supermarket. Stop. Oh, yeah, uh, a supermarket's like a mansion, uh, but it's full of food, and anyone can go there. So, like, where the butlers go? Yeah, basically. So, so he, uh... And wait, you said his mom was doing something at the supermarket? Working. So... Well, working is kind of like acting on a set every day in a film that no one's ever gonna see, and it lasts for the rest of your life. Oh, like a maid? Yeah, yeah, she's like the maid of the supermarket. <gasps> awesome. Continue. So anyway, Tony doesn't make the basketball team, right? So he decides to start playing pickup games of street ball outside. So... he plays basketball in his plane? No, on the ground. In his limo? No, uh, outside is that stuff that goes by when you're inside the limo. Oh, snap! He plays basketball outside the limo door? Yeah, 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 yeah. So then he gets really good at basketball, and then blah, 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 fast forward. At the heart of the story, Tony has to choose between his mom... Choose. Yeah, choose is when you have to make a decision between two things you want, but you can have only one. But... There's two. Yeah, but, but I mean, he, he can't have both. <laughs> what I say about science fiction, Clyde? It's a no. Okay, we'll pass. <sighs> Dad bless you. Thanks. Hello, thanks for calling Mario's Pizza. This is Carlos speaking. Hello. We would like a large pie with Pepperoni, pineapple, and cheesy crust. Large pepperoni with pineapple and cheesy crust. We would also like a large pie with bacon, pineapple, and cheesy crust. Large bacon, pineapple, with cheesy crust. OK, is that going to complete your order, sir? You know what? Let me gauge the room. Uh, guys, are we going to want another pizza? Let me just, who's hungry? Show of hands. Let me see them. One, two, three, keep them up. Four, five, six. Ah, uh, having a party. <laughs> yep, pretty big one, too. Come on, guys, keep them up. Hugo, Summer, hands, food. You know what? Let's play it safe. Let's get another pie. Ham, pineapple. All right, ham. Um, oh, you guys are going to need cheesy crust on the third. Good question. I'll gauge the room. Hey, guys, do we want cheesy crust on the third? OK, yeesh. That is a resounding yes for cheesy crust on the third. Claire says you read her mind. Claire, huh? I like that name. It's a good one. Oh, also, uh, my boy Andy over here is saying you have something called chicken poppers? Is she cute? Uh, who's that and what now? Claire. Oh. Her body's like a four. Anyway, we would also... Oh, how, how, how do you mean? <laughs> Let's just say she's kind of a big girl. That's all good. That's all superficial, man. I like Claire for what's inside. Don't even know Claire. Yo, but for real, though? I feel like I do know Claire, man. Put me on the phone with her. Uh, you don't need to speak to Claire. No, I do. You know what? I got a level with you, man. I...
doctor. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to get in between you guys. No. Quite all right. <laughs> Twas a while ago before she blimped up. My current girlfriend's Liv. Body tan, face tan. But anyway, Claire, yeah, I hit that sexually. And uh, as did my boy Hugo. Hell, even Bubba got some of that. So just wanted you to know, used goods, used goods. So you wouldn't care if I asked her out? Well, let me do it for you. Hey, Claire, this guy from the pizza place wants to date you too poor. All right, I'll let him down easy. Wait, 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 no. Tell her that no, I'm not a rich man, but I'm a good man. Tell her, Claire, I believe in destiny. And I believe that we've always known that our soulmate was out there. The moment that we had that unspoken connection about the cheesy crust, I realized that you were always the one. Because, and, and I know this sounds corny, but that moment was just like, simple. Wow, you really do care about Claire. <laughs> I do. Oh my God, Claire just got shot. What? No. Oh, it just came through the window. It was a bullet. What? Her in the neck. Oh, Claire's down. She's dead. She's dead. I'm calling the cops. She's dead. Claire! No! Well, Chinese it is because you're my wife, and you love the theater, and uh, it's your birthday. <laughs> Great. Un un unfortunately, the, um, the orchestra is already filled up, but they do have seats that are still left in the dress circle. So if you want uh, me to get them theater tickets right now, I'm going to do it right What's now. What's up, dog? I'm about five minutes away. Yeah. OK, yeah, cool. No, they're all yeah. good singers. they all good singers. Yeah, son. Mm -hmm. Nah, man, I'm about, I'm telling you, man, I'm about to cross the street, Nah, they man. got that one dude in it that you love, man. He gonna be in it, yeah. yeah come on, man, you know I'm almost there, all right? Right, now, nah, I'm gonna pick your ass up at 6.30 cool. then. Cool, all right. Yeah, 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 the parking is, uh, the parking's free. So they got that Oh, my lot. God, Christian, I almost totally just got mugged right now. <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh